You know what? I'm not gonna sugarcoat this at all. Chris Paul, one of LeBron's best friends, is now also saying LeBron wants to be and play in LA. <laughs> Don't we all? Hey guys, it's Ty. Thanks for watching The Fumble. For all the latest news on all your favorite athletes, make sure to hit subscribe and make sure to follow me on the gram and Twitter at Taiwan on Sports. You don't know how much joy this story brings me for a multitude of reasons, but we'll get into that in a minute. All right, there have been several reports recently saying Chris Paul has been working overtime to recruit LeBron to the Rockets. You guys, drop a comment right now and tell me if you would even want to see LeBron take his talents to Houston. Blech. I'm not feeling it. Now, other credible reports said that as much as CP3 is trying to recruit LeBron, LeBron is trying to recruit CP3 to the Lakers in his quest to build that super team that can contend with the Warriors. How do you how do you put together a group of talent but also a group of minds as well um, to be able to compete? All right, Stephen A. Smith confirmed this and said according to his sources, Chris Paul has been letting people know we're not getting LeBron. He wants to play in LA. According to my sources, Several things are happening. A, Chris Paul is telling folks LeBron ain't trying to come to Houston. He want to be in LA. These are things I'm getting through the grapevine. Now, Stephen A also said he's not so sure Paul George is coming to LA because he's hearing the Thunder are about to offer him a max. Folks are not so sure Paul George is coming to LA. From what I'm being told, Sam Presti and Oklahoma City Thunder are going to back up the Brink truck for Paul George. First things first. After Kawhi came out and said for sure he wants a trade and he wants to be in LA, I'm okay if we don't get PG. I'm good with getting LeBron, Kawhi, and keeping Zoe. By the way, for those of you who don't see what Lonzo Ball brings to the table, you don't understand basketball. He's a playmaker and a facilitator. It's not all about stat padding. All right, my second point is, remember when Stephen A. Smith's sources told him that Kevin Durant was gonna sign with the Lakers when he became a free agent? And then Kevin Durant said that Stephen A. was lying because his people don't talk to the media, so there's no way he would know anything? <sighs> good times. But my point is, uh, Stephen A's sources aren't always right. All right, now let's talk about this whole CP3 to LA thing. Probably not happening anytime soon either, though Braun did try. There will be no banana boats in Marina Del Rey this summer, sadly. Wooj reported that Chris Paul is going to return to the Rockets. All right, you know who I kind of feel bad for? Just a little bit, it's the Cavs. They basically just have to sit around and wait on LeBron to announce what he's gonna do before they make their plans for next season. That actually really sucks for them because the draft is June 21st, but Braun has until the 29th to exercise his player option or not. Word to the wise though, I'd start drafting and planning as if he's not coming back. Y'all have seen the reports. Don't hold out hope, just let go. I will never let go, Jack. Let go of Jack Rose, he dies, okay? And Cavs, I hate to break it to you, but Braun gone. Say it with me, Braun gone. Now as always, no one listens to me and allegedly slash it's been reported slash it's been rumored because that's all we have until July. The Cavs are working doubles to get an all-star on the team to entice LeBron to stay. It's also been reported that the Cavs are deciding on whether or not that they'll keep J.R. Smith next season. I kind of feel bad for him too because I don't know who's gonna want him for a long time to come. Guys, drop a comment and let me know if you think J.R. Smith's game one mental lapse put a permanent dark cloud over his career or if you think he'll recover. Now, just in case you forgot, this is the moment in which he could have won the first game of the series and potentially changed the entire outcome but decided, nah. Hill misses, rebound goes to the Cavs, J.R. Smith. Brings it back out, throws it a hill, hill shot blocked. All right, guys, as promised, today's post notification shout out goes to Wild Child. Dig the username. I'm gonna be in the comments commenting back on all of today's videos, so make sure you say hi. Also, make sure you're subscribed and in the Noti Gang for a shout out. Much love.